Oh, you nearly broke the skin. What's wrong with you? Requiem Scott in power. What? You all right? Who's that? Oh, no, not again. Are you coming or what? We've got to do the show. All right. I'll just, I'll just stay down here then, shall I? What was all that about? I don't want to talk about it. Question one. Fierce Chihuahua can't be that fierce as he loves himself a spot of lawn tennis. Come on, Tim. Mm, so he's wondering if there are any tennis games coming out soon. Ah, what you want is Top Spin 4, the new tennis game from Mafia 2 developers 2K Check. Only in this game, instead of whacking mooks, you'll be whacking tennis balls. Yeah, 2K Check have toned down the rather complex control system from Top Spin 3 to hopefully create something a little less daunting to newcomers to the series. Here's the game's producer to let us know what he's been up to, the scamp. So on Top Spin 4, we really try to ensure that people would have a long and lasting experience in tennis, that it would be entertaining in the long run. So we don't want to oversimplify, we don't want people to be done after 20 minutes. So, but learning from Top Spin 3, we also realize that people need to be educated, they need to learn, you know, what to do, how the game works. So we spend more time exposing the core concept of the game. We don't put less buttons, less configuration, we spend more time explaining what they do. Top Spin 4 will launch in the UK Kingdom on the 18th of March and the 15th of March in the US of States. Ryan Tatum asks us if we think there will be a Final Fantasy 13 too. Well, yes, Ryan, we do. Our first clue is when Square Enix announced that it would be coming out. Yep, Square announced that Final Fantasy 13 2, the sequel to Final Fantasy 13, will be coming out next winter. As you'd expect for a just announced game that's not coming out for ages, we have a full list of every detail of the game, including characters, weapons, combat systems. It's just a picture of a stick man with an impossible haircut and a massive sword. Well, that's probably right. Mm. Well, unfortunately, details are actually very thin on the ground about the game, beyond the fact that it'll apparently feature a battle system which has evolved further since 13, as well as a new story that picks up where Final Fantasy 13 left off. That means Lightning will be appearing again, as well as a mystery new character who features prominently in the logo. No doubt we'll be seeing much more of this in the upcoming months, so keep an eye on Inside Xbox and more as soon as we get it. Liam's 2008, or possibly Liam Season 2 Episode 8, asks if, now that 1 vs 100 has been cruelly strangled in its crib, whether there'll be anything along to replace it anytime soon. Well, as we said before when talking about 1 vs 100, that was just the first step in Microsoft testing the 1 vs many gaming mechanics, something they're attempting to take even further this spring with Full House Poker. Now, Poker, as you may be aware, is a card game where you have to get as close to 21 as possible without going over. Blackjack. Oh, um... You have to match a pair of cards. Snap, yeah. Um, you, you have to make monsters cruelly fight each other for your own amusement. That's Pokemon. Well, that's, that's what I said. Don't call me Mon. Poker, as you well know, is the one that you'll be playing in Full House Poker against up to 30 other players, real or AI, in Texas holding tournament play using your Xbox Live avatar. Right, gotcha. The most interesting mode we've seen so far is the Texas Heat mode. Uh, yeah, this is like an Xbox Live version of one of those televised world series of poker shows where guys called The Professor and Sir Bluffs a lot sit around and play poker for 300 hours. Only, in this case, you compete in live, 10-player poker games that take place over the course of an entire season, with your results affecting your position in an overall league table. When the season's over, the player at the top of the table is the overall winner and will no doubt be showered in fabulous prizes and delicious sweetness. Even if you're not in the running for the serious prizes, there's still plenty of cool stuff to do and fun things to unlock. If you beat one of the game's professionals, you get their poker shirt as a keepsake, and as you earn experience points, you unlock the ability to do showboaty things with poker chips, like flipping them and spinning them in your hands, or rolling them across the back of your knuckles, like Val Kilmer in that one movie. What, Batman Forever? No. There's also stuff like custom decks of cards and in-game costumes for you to unlock as well, and it will connect to the Windows Phone 7 version of the game so you can share your pot across both platforms if you have both. Now, now say I have this friend who was terrible at gambling and ended up in enormous debt to guys with names like Fingers and Stabsy. Well, obviously you're not gambling with real money and there's an inexhaustible supply of chips to keep playing with, but if you run out of chips, you'll need to go to the in-game ATM to get more, which will disable your ability to earn experience points for a set number of in-game rounds to make busting out have some kind of consequence. Oh, well, the game's due out in the spring. Vague, but hopefully not long to wait, poking fans. God, they're demo crazy, these people. Yeah, which people?
all the ones asking about demos, like this Ryan Nick guy on Twitter, he's all like, is there going to be a Bulletstorm demo? Like, we'd know anything about that. Oh, well, that's fortunate, because there actually is a Bulletstorm demo coming to Xbox Live on the 25th of January. Oh. Well, there are also a bunch of them harping on about a Crisis 2 demo as well. <laughs> like the, the multiplayer only one that's exclusive to Xbox Live, also coming on the 25th of January. Sorry, remind me, what was your point again? Um, I've forgotten. Shut up. Now, you probably saw Avatar Connect when it was announced at CES a couple of weeks ago. Yep, it's a new 360 app coming this spring that uses Connect to track your body and face to create a massively expressive chat room. What you might be wondering is how detailed it is and how it actually works. Well, luckily it takes very little time to explain, even less if we show you this video. Let's take a look at the technology behind Avatar Connect. On the screen, you see Ron with his Xbox avatar. We use the RGB image and depth information from the Kinect sensor to capture facial movement. You can see the 3D mesh we generate from this data and watch it change as Ron moves his head and talks. We track his head as well as his mouth and eyebrow movements and render these on his Xbox avatar. That looks good, doesn't it? I'm, I'm in eyebrow training already. Yeah, yeah me, I'm going to practice throwing my head back when I laugh like this. <laughs> yeah, probably need more practice. Sideburn Slayer claims that his violent one-man vendetta against the humble mutton chop will continue unabated unless he gets some home front news. It's, it's not stated outright, we're just reading between the lines. So that means you're answering this question to halt the actions of a serial shaver and not, as I suspected, just using it as an excuse to boast about your trip to New York. God, I'm offended you would momentarily consider my selfless bid to save the hairy cheek populace as some sort of thinly veiled attempt to boast about my awesome visit to the Big Apple to attend THQ's awesome Game Week, which incidentally was awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, I ever doubted you. So anyway, there I was in New York City having the best time I've probably ever had enjoying spectacular cuisine, fine wines, erudite company and the video games of the future. Homefront? I was just getting to that. Anyway, video games of the future like Homefront, THQ's vision of a dark time when the Koreans invade America, guns are called Senor Killbang and nothing Don't is as Senor Killbang? Alright, so I wasn't paying full attention but the canapes were extraordinary. Anyway, once I'd finished lunch, I spoke to a guy who, after a brief altercation, turned out not to be a cloakroom attendant, but worked for Homefront developer Chaos Studios. Well, I suppose he told you about the game's epic 32-player online multiplayer, which features dedicated servers, a variety of innovative modes and features. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, um, um... Like... Ground Control? Which is similar to Battlefield's Conquest gameplay, only the capture points move to an entirely new section of the map once one team has claimed dominance of an area. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, and how about those, um, you know... Battle points? Yeah. Battle yeah, points, yeah. yeah. Earned for kills and assists during play, these can be put towards a variety of customizable perks, including controllable ground and air drones, flak jackets, airstrikes, and even vehicles, all of which can be purchased mid-battle with a quick press on the directional pad. Well, duh, I knew that. I mean, I was talking about the other thing, you know, the, um, the... The... the bat battle commander. Yeah. That, right, yeah, because that is also good. It's kind of an AI general who rewards players who perform well with stars, special perks, and secret missions. It also lets your opposition know that you're a major threat and puts a bounty on your head. Of course, it works the other way too, which means players of all abilities have a chance to be a hero. But enough from me, I wasn't even there. I'm, I'm sure you've got lots more to tell them. Uh, no, that was that was good. Uh, well, to be honest, we spent most of our time drinking coffee, talking about our mutual love of cats, and complaining about the weather. Oh, no, 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 I just remembered, I just remembered... No, no, it's gone. The fact that the DLC will arrive on the Xbox 360 first. No. no. The, the Xbox exclusive multiplayer map no, uh, suburbs. No, not that either. Um, oh, wait, that was it. They gave me this free book to give away to one lucky viewer. Isn't that cool? What about those parrot AR drone that was under your desk? Was under my desk? Yeah, this one. <sighs> Do you think this would make a better prize? Yeah, I imagine a magical flying quadricopter worth over £300 would be a better prize, because I obviously have no need for such a thing. Thanks, Andy! My pleasure. If you want a chance to win Dan's AR drone, tell us what special item you'd spend your battle points on in Homefront to defeat the opposition by tweeting at send your message and including the hashtag hash Homefront competition in your response. Whichever answer we deem to be the funniest or most inventive wins. Seems the acme of foolishness to ask this, but did anything of actual use to this show happen on this trip? Karaoke? No. Um, st state dinners? No. Um, some sort of confirmation that Saints Row 3 will be revealed soon? No. Wait, hang on, yes. Burton S. UFC was saying he wanted to know more about that. Oh God, you're so picky. Right, well, I spoke to the guy who co-wrote The Rocketeer. 
Glad to see your sources are as reliable as ever. Who just so happens to be THQ's Vice President of Core Games. Oh, probably should have led with that. Mm, well, I'd done some journalism at him and this is what he said. And obviously there's another uh, major Volition franchise that we've not heard from for a while. Does that something we may be uh, looking forward to at E3? Yes. <laughs> In the biggest way you've ever seen from this company. It is, um, I can't talk about it. But as I say, um, you know, a secret weapon's not a secret weapon if I blow the secret. So uh, it is just that. And that's it for this week's show. If you've got a question you need answering, then you can certainly do a lot worse than sending it to the Gamertag Send You a Message. Emailing us on Send You a Message at hotmail.com. At replying us on the Twit Network to the Twitter title Send You a Message. Giving Mark Zuckerberg cold hard cash monies by writing on our Facebook wall at thefacebooks.com slash send you a message. Or by sealing it in this envelope, which I will now divulge the contents of using the power of my mind. <sighs> Something about me being an emo and needing a haircut. Oh, surprise. Lucky guess. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. What?